In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And the Welcome to St. Peter's on this feast day of Blessed Antonio Rosmini, July the 1st. We're sorry to have started late, but we've been fiddling with cameras. We still haven't got the position, uh, haven't got it just right every time. But here we are. Here we are beginning Mass on this feast day. We will then be able to have a time of adoration and prayer together. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves for these holy mysteries, we turn to God and ask his help in preparing our hearts. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words through my fault, through, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever a virgin, all the angels and saints in you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The intentions today are for John McCarthy. We pray for all those who are sick and in need of our prayers at this time. And on this day we pray for the Rosminian family, our brothers and sisters, our ascribed members. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, whose boundless love, blessed Antonio Rosmini, poured forth in all his works, granted by his example and intercession, that same love may shine forth in our own words and actions. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. So now we listen to the words of Moses, looking forward to a unity of God's people in God's love. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. <clears throat> Moses turned towards the people and said, Now this is the commandment, the statutes and the ordinances, which the Lord your God commanded me to teach you, that you may do them in the land which you are going over, to possess it, that you may fear the Lord your God, you and your son and your son's sons, by keeping all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you all the days of your life, and that your days be prolonged. <clears throat> Hear therefore, O Israel, and be careful, to, be careful to do them, that it may go well with you, and that you may multiply greatly, as the Lord, the God of your fathers, has promised you in the land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with
with all your might. And these words which I command you this day shall be upon your heart, and you shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk to them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. And you shall bind them as a sign upon your hand, and they shall be frontlets between your eyes, and you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation, salvation of the Lord. Lord. She goes about seeking those worthy of her, and she graciously appears to them in their hearts, and meet them in every form. It, it is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. The beginning of wisdom is the most sincere desire for instruction. Concern for instruction is love for God. It is good, good to wait quietly on the salvation of the Lord. Love of her is the keeping of her laws, and giving heed to her laws is assurance of immortality. It is good to wait quietly on the salvation of the Lord. I will tell you what wisdom is and how she came to be, and I will hide no secrets from her. It is good to wait quietly on the salvation of the Lord. I will trace her course from the beginning of creation and make knowledge of her clear, and I will not pass by the truth. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, he who does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this, the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only Son into the world, so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No man has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us, and his love is perfected in us. By this, we know that we abide in him, and he in us, because he's given us of his own spirit. And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent his Son as the Saviour of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him, and he in God. So we know and believe the love God has for us. God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Jesus, my dear. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I've called you friends, says the Lord, for all that I have heard from my father, I've made known to you. Hallelujah. turned towards his disciples and said to them, I am the vine, and you are the branches. 
He who abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If a man does not abide in me, he is cast forth as a branch and withers. And the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you will, and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love, these things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servants does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, so all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. This I command to you, to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. We can hear Moses' encouragement for homeschooling. When we listen to his words, and he says, you will speak these things diligently to your children, and you will talk of them about, about these words, about this teaching. When you leave the house, you will pray. When you re-enter the house, you will pray. And what is the prayer? He tells us, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your understanding. And these things which I give you will be with you today. There's an eternal day in the love of God. God every day wants, it, wants to pour his love into our hearts and we have only to respond, open our hearts to that great love. And our morning offering is the time of turning to God and saying, Lord, help me in what I shall do and say today. Let it be what you want. So, when we then listen to Jesus' words himself, if you abide in me, I will abide in you pouring out of the love of Jesus into our hearts. Rosmini was a great writer, a great thinker, and dwelt upon these things in many different ways because he wrote so many books. One aspect which can be dear to us is that he writes about conscience, a big thick book, The Treaty of Conscience, but he writes, about, he writes about the conscience also of the nation. He writes about uh, the rule of, of rights, people's rights. He, he talks about ethics. He talks about moral conscience. We think about conscience a little bit. We know that it disturbs us when we do something wrong, that, that we have the sense 
the inner voice, if you like, the sense of something telling us when we do wrong. But if you think about it, conscience also tells us when we are doing something right. It tells us that we have God's blessing on what we're doing. And if we do something right, which is costly to us, we also have that sense that we have put ourselves out. We have made some sort of sacrifice for other people to do what is right and what is needed. He talks about conscience then and giving us an inner freedom that we judge what we do and when we do something good and right it gives us a freedom to live. We are more free because we are acting as a person who is moral. We are more free, we're acting in the eyes of God. Then he goes on to talk about what freedom means that each person is meant to have basic freedoms. The right to worship God. The right to have our own property. The right to have education. The right to have a dignified life. So Rosmini, who in developing the rights of the person towards a personal freedom, is very much up to date because we have woken up from our sleepiness and we in our society realize that we have modern slavery around us with the great movement of peoples, with a lot of immigration, with a lot of people coming in and seeking a better life from maybe war, uh, the great troubles that we know are in the Middle East. We have people desperate to come to a place of stability. But they don't come always in the proper manner. They come desperately and they put themselves into the hands of gang leaders. And those gang leaders want a lever over them. They will charge a lot of money for bringing them into Europe. They will then take the passports off them. They will then tell them that they've got to pay back all that money. And the only way to do it is to work hard and to have nothing at the end of it. Just a little bit of place to sleep and a little bit of something to eat until they go out and work another day of drudgery. Drudgery, when you haven't got a passport, when you can't leave that place, is slavery. Because those people lack all those freedoms that Rosmini has been talking to us about. They lack the freedom of movement, they lack the freedom of education, the freedom of self-determination. They are our modern slaves. And so, maybe we would today follow Rosmini, open our eyes a little more, open our eyes and see people who work in jobs where they are really not free to leave. It's been highlighted that car washes are one of these classical places, but there are more subtle places. There are people who work in, 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 in cleaning jobs, there are people who work in uh, sewing and uh, putting, putting materials together. There are people who work in a degrading position and they get nothing for it. If we open our eyes and we can, together with some religious orders who specialize in this, like the sisters of Joseph of Annecy do, then we can, in a practical way, be of some help. Besides our spiritual way of praying for them and praying for their freedom and praying for justice in our world and especially in their world. So let us add these prayers to the prayers we have of the Universal Church. Brothers and sisters, we celebrate the Holy Eucharist through the intercession of Our Lady of Sorrows, 
and blessed Antonio Rosmini, let us pray to God the Almighty Father. We pray to the Pope and the Holy Church that God may be pleased to send neighbours into his hands. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the Institute of Charity and all other religious orders. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our own and all other governments. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the bishop and the clergy of the Archdiocese of Hell. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. For our friends, relatives, and benefactors. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. We pray for those who are suffering from the virus in this time, that they may receive healing from the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. We pray for those re recommended to our prayers. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. us. We pray for our enemies. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. Hear us. We pray for the conversion of unbelievers and sinners. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. We pray for those who are tempted and afflicted. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who are involved in looking after the sick in whatever way, whether in hospital, in care homes or at home itself, that they may see themselves as witnesses of the love of God. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who have died recently and those whose anniversaries occur at this time. Lord, may they rest in your peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Now let us ask Mary, our mother, to intercede with our petitions. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord, Lord is with you. Blessed are you, Mary. And blessed is the fruit of the Lord Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Lord God, you deign to fill blessed Antonio Rosmini with divine love. Grant through his intercession we may faithfully preserve the same love and bear witness to it with our holiness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given, human hands have made, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. God, we ask you to receive us, be pleased with the sacrifice. Brothers and sisters, pray that the sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name.
for our good and good of all his holy church. To you, O oh Father, we offer this mystery of faith that this church has given us. Make it shine always in us. In a triumph of love, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. You give the Church this feast in honour of blessed Antonio Rosmini. You inspire us by his holy life and instruct us by his preaching. You give us your protection in answer to his prayers. We join the angels and saints as they sing their hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things. You make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. If we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body and one <coughs> spirit in Christ. May he make us an eternal offering to you, so we may obtain an inheritance with your Lord, especially with the most blessed Virgin then. Mother of God, we bless you, Joseph, Christmas. We are blessed apostles and glorious ones. We bless you, Antonio Rossi, and with all the saints, of whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing hope. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis Arthur and George R. Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, 
gathered to yourself all your children scattered to all the world. Who are you, my dear, dear brothers and sisters, and all who are living to you in their passing from this life? If can admit to your kingdom, then we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow all the world. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit, we offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed.
you have said, may they all be one, just as, Father, you are in me and I am in you. May they also be one in us. Grant that your disciples, together with Mary and Peter, and in the school of Antonio Rosmini, may recognize themselves always as brothers and sisters, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. We are very glad to say that we have permission to have the church open. And so, every morning from 10.30 to 12.30, we have adoration in the Sacred Heart Chapel. There are simple rules about hand cleansing and about keeping a social distance, which we manage to keep with the help of our very generous volunteer stewards. So we can, uh, we can celebrate together the fact that we can re-enter our church and pray. And we look forward, of course, to the time of having our congregation here with us at Holy Mass. Today, then, we will move now to the to that same altar of the Sacred Heart for our time of adoration.
Ski. Mm-hmm. 